diagnosis out of left field. That's how a local woman describes her feelings when her father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at an early age. Now she's keeping his memory alive by spreading awareness and fighting for a cure. Pictures with the grandkids. One look in her living room, and you know family is the foundation of Julie Rivera's life. So when she noticed changes in her dad's behavior, we just felt like there's something not right. They took him to get tested. Manuel Rivera was 54 when he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. From Puerto Rico and the head of the household, this was a diagnosis that halted the Rivera's world. What do we do? They were able to get help from the Alzheimer's Association, and for almost 10 years, Manuel's family took care of him until he passed away. For him, like when he was starting to realize that he was forgetting us, um, there were those emotional moments where, you know I love you guys. Don't ever forget that. And that was hard. But there were also good times, like when Julie would turn on his favorite Mark Anthony song. I would just put on a song, and I would see, like, you know, his reaction. It would just change. During his care, Julie and her family, and even her dad, participated in the walk to end Alzheimer's. That was one of the walks. Like so many others who've seen what this disease can do, Julie wants a cure and will not stop advocating all in the name of her father. The biggest thing that I learned is even though they may forget you, which my dad did, he did forget us, they feel. They could feel the love you give them. And Julie says because of her father's young age, she had trouble qualifying for certain benefits to help him with Alzheimer's. So she's part of a fight to change legislation and has even traveled to Washington, D.C. to advocate for those diagnosed as well as their caretakers. And to read more about her story, you can find it on WFLA.com. I'm so thankful, Lee, that she shared her story with us, too, because...